I said, Captain. Ah, Monsieur, your table is waiting. Thank you. You were beginning to worry. You know, we haven't eaten a thing. We're absolutely starving. Not a thing in Berlin. Oh, George, do you think it was easier in the 30s? What, getting from Berlin to London, you mean? No, stupid. Falling in love. Well, you seem to be doing okay in the 80s, don't you? Yes, maybe I do, but I don't know. Something about a few dozen red roses and long engagements and moonlight and soft light and sweet music, flattery. They do have their nice points, you know. If I told you you had a beautiful body, would you hold it against me? <laughs> George, you and I have a wonderful working relationship. Falling in love's easy. That may be so, but climbing out can prove rather difficult. Time and again, we make good resolutions, but somehow they don't seem to stay. Just when we think we got the whole thing sewn up, we must own up. Everything gets blown up. Sex and champagne, a social institution, stampede me and lead me astray. I begin beginning, my spring's leaning is ditched, benched, bundled away. All my instincts respond to an amiable blonde, which is fatal. And the sombrous brunette appears, so that and cheers back go my ears. Maybe it's all prenatal. How can I train my hormone distributions to be less aggressively known? Time and again I try. Time and again, I think. Aw, poor baby. Would you like some champagne? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Life is what you make it, as someone once observed, a phrase that sounds a trifle clear. But whoever thought it out had clearly never sorted out the vexing problem of Adam's spare rib. Well, chastity, I take it, is specially reserved for those possessing moral fibers. Mine fail me all the time, and maybe that's the reason I'm a Baba black sheep. Calling all subscribers. Time and again, I'm tortured by contrition and swear that I'm sorry I've sinned. Then, when I've lashed myself with whips and scourges, oh. sexy oh. images, <laughs> out pop all the edges. Freud could explain your curious condition, and Young would certainly have grinned. When I meet some sly dish who looks like my dish, I'm drunk, sunk, gone with the wind. How can I start afresh when the sins of the flesh override me? Maybe some psychoanalyst might slap my wrist and give a twist to what goes on inside me. I can't restrain my lecherous libido from slipping and tipping the scale. Time and again I try, time and again.